Hi, my friend. How are you today? Uh, today, I, I want to uh, throw you one question, very important question. Who is Jesus? Who Jesus is to you? Uh, many Christians think they know Jesus very well. But if I ask this question to them, their answers will vary. Some say Jesus is Savior. Some say he is a son of God, he is a master, lord, shepherd, uh, good shepherd and good friends. Uh, he is a lion of, lion of Judah. So many uh, answers come. But unfortunately, uh, very few people uh, answer that Jesus is the Christ. Uh, when Jesus took the disciple to the city uh, region of Caesarea Philippi, he asked to his uh, uh, disciple, who do people say that I am? And disciple answered, some say you are uh, John the Baptist, and uh, others say you are Elijah. Still others say you are Jeremiah, and the remaining say uh, one of the prophets. And Jesus was not satisfied with their uh, answers. So Jesus asked to, to his disciple again, who do you say that I am? At that time, Simon Peter uh, answered, You are the Christ, Son of the Living God. You are the Christ. This is an amazing answer. Son of God in the form of human being came to this world and he did the work of the Christ. By the promise of God he came. He didn't come to this earth by chance. But by the promise of God, he came to this world in the form of human being. But no one recognized who he was. In human history, uh, Simon Peter was the first man who recognized who Jesus was. The important answer here is he, he is the Christ. Jesus is the Christ and Son of God. And Jesus was amazed. Simon, son of Jonah, blessed are you. It is not known to you by flesh and blood, but my Father in heaven. You are Peter, you are Petrus, you are rock. On this rock I will build my church. The gate of Hades cannot overcome it and I will give you the keys of kingdom of heaven. Whatever you bind on earth, it will be bound in heaven. Whatever you lose on earth, it will be loosed in heaven. Amazing bless, blessing Peter received by confessing that Jesus uh, was the Christ and son of the living God. Jesus is a name, Christ is a position. And Son of God came to this world, and His name was Jesus. He did work of the Christ. So the conclusion is what? Only Jesus is the Christ. Christ, or Messiah, or Anointed One, was uh, promised in the Old Testament, like uh, in Genesis chapter 3, verse 15. Offspring of woman will come and crush the head of the serpent. And Isaiah 7.14 say, The virgin will give birth to a son, and his name will be called Emmanuel. And this was fulfilled in Matthew chapter 1.18, verse 2.23. He is an offspring of woman not offspring of man. He was born without help of the Father. He was born by the Holy Spirit. He was the only person 
who was born by the Holy Spirit, the virgin, a girl who does not know man, we call her virgin. The virgin will give birth to a son, and his name will be called Emmanuel. Why he has to be born of the virgin? He should not have the original sin. So that he was under, not under the power of death. And he could die for others. If he would have a sin and uh, he would have been under the power of death, he could not die for others. He died for his own sin. So he should not have any sin. That's why he was born of the Virgin Mary. So he destroyed the power of the Satan. He paid all the price on the cross. It is his last word. It is finished. What is finished? All the problems of human being were over. And we believe only Jesus is the Christ solution to all our problems. So who is Jesus? Jesus is the Christ. Jesus said, do not tell anybody that I am Christ. Why? The time has not yet come fully. So when he uh, died on the cross, all people, including disciples, ran away. Why? They had a misunderstanding about the Christ, Messiah. They were expecting Jesus who would sit on the throne of kingdom of Israel. But that was not Jesus was supposed to do. He is a king of kings, not only king of Jews, king of kings, lord of lords. He is the ruler ruler of the heaven and earth. All authorities in heaven and on earth are given to me, Jesus said. So, Jesus' kingdom is not worldly kingdom. His kingdom is spiritual kingdom. His kingdom is a, a universal kingdom. He is a ruler of all human beings. So, Bible say. All knees will bow down in heaven, on earth, under the earth to him, and will confess with their mouth that Jesus is the Lord, to the glory of God. That is the Bible. So who is Jesus then? He is a Christ who came to this world and he did the work of Christ. The work of Christ includes true king, true priest, true prophet. As a true king, he destroyed the evil king, Satan. As a true priest, he died for us and he forgave our sin. As a true prophet, he opened the way to heaven. So, Jesus is the Christ, solution to all our problems. Salvation is found in no one else. For there is no other name given to him and given to us under heaven by which we must be saved. Amen. Let's give glory to God. Thank you.